I oftentimes walk around with this. This is a blue marble. Mm -hmm. This is actually what our planet looks like from space. We are a blue marble in the inky vastness of the universe. You know, as a matter of fact, NASA always says, follow the water. And that is their strategy on their quest for finding life in the rest of the universe. I'd like you all to take a deep breath. Now take a second breath. You can thank oceanic plankton for that second breath. What's most fascinating though, is that our bodies, our brains, our heart, and our lungs are about 70% water, just as our planet is 70% water. So our connection to water actually runs very deep. But what's happening is that in recent times, we've actually drifted away from water. When there is too much carbon dioxide and methane in our atmosphere, this is where we see the effects of global warming. Something very unique about mangrove forest that is different from what we see in terrestrial ecosystems. Mangrove trees have to live in coastal environments. When, we're, when they're removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, the carbon is stored not only in the roots and the soil, but actually underwater. And so now they're considered blue carbon sinks. Here it is, corals are real animals, even though they may look like rocks sitting there at the bottom. We have all kinds of neat shapes. I saw hearts in this coral. It was really beautiful. Another thing that's so amazing about coral reefs is that you don't even necessarily have to be looking out or cover a lot of territory when you're exploring the reefs. Sometimes, just by focusing your attention on that one meter square point there in the bottom of the, of the coral reef, you'll find the most amazing critters. Interestingly, staghorn coral in the in the wider Caribbean is considered an endangered species. But for some reason, in Fort Lauderdale, in this big coastal city, we have acres and acres of this daghorn coral growing very easily right there in our backyard. These sea turtles return to the same beach, oftentimes the same exact location, to lay their eggs every single year. And the reason for that is that sea turtles actually have an internal GPS system. They end up instinctively knowing that if they make it to adulthood, that means that the place from which they came is a safe place. We've already covered the economic benefits, the ecological benefits, but what is very rarely discussed is actually this added emotional benefit of marine ecosystems. And so what we see is that when people spend time around water, it actually benefits them even more deeply than if you spend time just in nature or in forest landscapes. I ask that you take what you've learned here and be part of the ripple that spreads the words of the benefits of water to our lives. I'm going to leave you with one final message from the granddaughter of the late great Jacques Cousteau, Celine. It's about reconnecting our sense of soul with our waterways and oceans. It's about finding creativity, clarity, and confidence in our deep blue minds. And I hope that will always stick with you. So thank you so much for this opportunity to share my blue mind with all of you. And I wish you all water. Thank you. Thank you.